Hey, welcome back to SHOT Show 2022. Coming to you live from Las Vegas, from the Beretta Media Zone floor here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are joined again. Oh, wait, hold on. Before I jump into the guests, I should probably let you know who the co-host is. First off, my name is Mike Worski. I'm the host of the program here on The Rundown. The host from the East Coast. That's the coast with the most, right. just so you know. Let me move off to the West Coast now for those that uh, you know, want to see West some other coast, parts of the country. The West Coast, the left coast, behind the Iron Curtain, otherwise known as the Sierras, coming to you from California. Except today, we're coming to you from Free America in Las Vegas. It's kind of like disputed territory, America. I'll say that. It you've is, got you got yeah. one branch of the government here fighting with another branch of the government. It's really cool because we're in the middle giving people the finger. Well, so it's, you it got, works out well. Yeah, well, you got a bunch of Californians who are basically trying to take over Southern Nevada. Yeah, it, it's true. It, it, what we really have going on here is people saying, put your mask on, and right. then everybody else laughing at them. <laughs> right. It's just, that's pretty, it's much, a yeah. that's well, pretty that's, much how Vegas A lot goes, of yeah. former Californians telling them to put <laughs> yeah. their mask on. Sure, you have to put your mask on. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll even let them hand them to us. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Super dear. <laughs> Take it home. Love yeah. my wife. <laughs> so, uh, hey, let's uh, let's introduce our next guest, shall we, Craig? Yes, we shall. Yes, we shall. Uh, you, you probably saw him earlier on the program uh, talking about uh, his show, Meet the Pressers, talking about his training company. Uh, but today, he's here to talk about talk with us about uh, well, about something a little bit different. Fun stuff, Thanks Mr. Mallory. Me, Man, I'm glad to be here. So, Mantis. Mantis Technology. Uh, I work pro staff for them here at the show. I come out, I do pretty much the big shows for them and talk really about the big shows. The really big, big shows. Really big shows. Not like really the big, big show from WWE though. He's, he should be hanging around. Show. But the big shows. Uh, and it, I like to say, and I, I think Clint and I probably came up with it because they're a sponsor of Meet the Pressers. So it's kind of a co uh, collaboration. And we say that uh, Mantis helps shooters suck less. Pretty much, I mean, that that's the point, yeah, right? Right. It's like you got a device, you got different tools that we'll talk about in a second here that help you refine that ability to shoot or <laughs> the lack thereof. And you know who we're talking about. You know who he's talking about. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Shoot, <laughs> shooting blanks? No, no, those that, uh, that, that you're helping them suck less. You know, those people know who they are. They know who they are. <laughs> So many puns with that one. But no, ooh, the ooh. problem is most of them. We may know who they are. Most of them don't, don't realize. You don't know what you are. don't know. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and that, that's actually funny. You'll see somebody come up to the booth or whatever, and they'll be, "Oh yeah, I'm you know I'm an instructor. Or I'm a you know competition shooter." I'm like, "Great. Okay. Well, you know, you could shot. Yeah, great shot." And then they get up and well, show me. And they pick it up and they're like teacup saucering it and like a modified hodgepodge weaver. And you're like, "Okay." And then they use it and they're like, they're uh, like. Yeah, you yeah. definitely want to take one of these home. Yeah. <laughs> You're also talking about Vegas, though, where most of the attendees couldn't pass a breath, al- breath alcohol test. So, uh, Well, that's because there's, like, alcohol every two steps. I know. In I know. slot machines. It's, it is, it is. They're, 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 they're throwing it at you. <laughs> yeah. They're throwing it at you. Yeah. you get it. You're like, going. I didn't know. It's raining. It rains in Vegas. No, no, that's uh, bourbon. That's God. bourbon. The yeah. spidey senses. You're yeah, like, that's it. caught it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. But... Um, some things that have been released here at the show, which is cool. So the Blackbeard is for AR-15. They have also got now an AR-10 and a pistol caliber nice. rifle. Right. Blackbeard. So the Blackbeard is a device that resets the trigger, and then you can get no laser, which is the cheapest version. Red laser, green laser. Least expensive. Least expensive. Thank yeah, you. That's true. Sometimes I'm not politically correct. <laughs> it's just, you know, <laughs> diarrhea of the mouth. Um, so, uh, the least expensive yeah. is no laser. Then Most cost effective. Squirrel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> red laser. And then the, the, the uh, cream of the crop is uh, the green laser and the infrared laser, which typically military law enforcement right. uses. Right. Um, and then if you couple that with the laser academy, which actually shows you where your impact was and feeds it back to an app, either on your phone or your tablet, mm-hmm. Android or Apple, shows you where that impact was, split times, mm-hmm. different things, which is pretty cool. And then the flagship product, the X10, does everything on the gun side. And I'll have students, like when I'm teaching a student, they're shooting, and they'll say, well, did I hit the target? I'm like, well, I wasn't watching the target. I was watching you. The problem's back here with you. It's not there. (laughs) The problem, this is before, right? Right. So got to get this straight. The X10 does that. The X10's rifle, pistol, shotgun, archery, put it on a bow, dry fire, live fire, airsoft, cert, put it on a cert, and, and it checks trigger movement, muzzle movement, before, during, and after the shot. It takes a snapshot before, during, and after the shot, and it shows you how much that muzzle moved within an eight, eight degree movement. Wow. Yeah. Pretty cool. I mean, it's genius. The product's genius. 
And even uh, X10 also does holster draw analysis. So it tells you if you're chicken winging it, if you're if you're bowling or you're fishing. It can tell all of that. It can tell all that. Yeah, it's all based on the movement. You tell the app, the software, where you know where it's mounted on the gun, whether it's okay. on a magazine, on the Picatinny rail, on the right. bow, right? And then as you move it, there's a way you should move it, the most efficient way. Mm -hmm. And when it's out there and you're pressing the trigger, it should have no movement. Right. And we know we're humans, right? It's going to move some, and it picks up those minute movements that the eye can't see. Wow. So now you can use it. You can use it basically with your regular firearm. Yes. Uh, can you use it, for example? Let's say, what if you had like a cert training pistol? Can you use it with yeah. that? Yeah. Cert. Um, UTM guns. They're right. converted. Uh, I, I put. I put. Same guns. Yep. Same guns. Yep. I put it on my uh, 4570 revolver. Mm. Nice. It gets. It shows you muzzle rise. Right. 72 degree muzzle rise. Wow. <laughs> Where like a nine is like right. eight. Eight degree. Well, it's what I like. What I like about it in particular is the ability to be able to, like you said, practice your draw and a lot of stuff that you can do in dry fire. You know, that's different than when you actually go to the range. Because, as we all know, at least I don't know about every place else. I know in California, ammo is expensive, so uh, I'm doing more dry fire uh, practice than sure. ever before. And I found utilizing both my cert training pistol and my Mantis. Yeah. I just I find it's it's I get a really good opportunity to get right. some training in without having to expend uh, a, a whole lot of money. For sure. There you go. Yeah, with the, the cost of ammo and the lack of ammo in the yeah. industry, people are looking for alternate ways to practice because right. they, they can't go to the range, you know, whatever. Even, even then, ranges were shut down in a lot of the commie states, right? Yeah. New yeah. York, California. Like, you can't come out outside and shoot outside. Oh, God forbid, you might spread COVID. Well, you know, the interesting thing was in California, a couple of cities tried to shut down some of the gun stores and ranges, and nope. Good. They were they were actually were wound up being left open. Uh, in Orange County, they tried it and they got sued and they had to be forced back open. Wow. Essential services. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. See, yep. in New York, it didn't happen that way. Yeah. Governor Cuomo got his way. He got you know all the orders or all the yep. executive right. orders, and he yeah. There was one range actually. They they were told they were going to be fined and their FFL would be revoked mm. if they didn't shut down. That, their state FFL. Yeah. Uh, the feds weren't going to pull them, but. In the state of New York, you can't operate with only a federal FFL. You Correct. have to have your state also. Correct. Yeah. So in California, same way. Yeah. It's, yeah. Behind Free the America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So do me a favor. Let folks know uh, where can they see more and For find sure. out more about Mantis. So uh, mantisx.com. And if you're at the show, we've got booths uh, 43102, 70705. And the booth that I'm at from 12 to 2, if anybody wants to stop by, shake my hand, or learn more about it, is 11873, and that's on floor two. It's the biggest booth out of the three. Excellent, excellent. So we will make sure to get that out uh, we're, uh, so folks will be able to stop by before the show is over. And if they can't get there before the show is over, where do they go to look at Mantis X stuff? MantisX.com. MantisX.com. That's just the X, it's not an EX, right. like it's your former Correct. Mantis. And all that information, by the way, folks, is in the description of this video. So or our audio podcast if you're actually just listening to us. Unfortunately, for those of you who are just listening, you're gonna miss all of the cool B-roll and pictures and stuff like that. But it'd be like it'd be. Sir, thank you so much for coming you, on guys. again. Like, on as always. Always, definitely on as always. All right, folks, well, hey, that's gonna be it once again for this episode, but we're gonna be back with more goodies and fun stuff coming at you from the Beretta Media Zone at SHOT Show 2022. I'm Craig. I'm not. He's Mike. <laughs> He's retarded. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're going to get in trouble. Get in trouble. Using the R word. <laughs> All right. We'll talk, to you. we'll talk to you guys later. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>